Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different kind of video. I saw Sarah do the most read authors video and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that too. So, uh, I kind of cut this list off at, after I've read eight books is when I can say that I've read enough of an author for them to be my most read grouping of authors. The first one that I've read a lot of is Rick Riordan. I've read 15 of his books and I don't really know how many he has out. I know I haven't read the King Chronicles Guide book, and I haven't read some like the Clue 39 books that he's written, but I've read a lot of them, and I'll just show you them right here. And here are some of my Rick Riordan books. I've read the King Chronicles by him, which is the Red Pyramid, the Throne of Fire, the Serpent Shadow, the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, and it's like, what is that called? And it's a companion book with a few extra stories. Then I've also read the Heroes of Olympus series with its extra little thing right there. The next author that I've read a lot of is J.K. Rowling, obviously Harry Potter. <sighs> Need I say more? And then here are my Harry Potter books. I have all of the American hardcover editions. There's Albus right there. Oh, hi. And then I have the Casual Vacancy in Harry Potter. Um, and then I have the first two in the leather-bound American editions. They stopped making these, so it's only these first two, and they didn't make the other ones. I have my Spanish edition of Harry Potter, The Tales of Beetle the Bard, Greek version of the first book, British versions of the first book, and the um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Quidditch Through the Ages. Money! The next person that I've read a lot of their books is Garth Nix. I started reading some of his books when I was really young, and so I don't own all of them but I'll show you the ones that I do own right now. And here are my Garth Nix books. I have the first three in the Seventh Tower series um, in this bind up, but I have all six. They're in paperback and they're not on this shelf. Then I have the first three in the Trouble Twister series, which is co-authored by him and Sean Williams. And then the Confusion of Princes, which is by Garth Nix. It's a standalone science fiction young adult novel. The next person I own a lot of their books is Cassandra Clare. I have read 10 of her books out of what, 11? So I'm pretty good on that front, but yeah, I'll show you them again right now. And then over here are my Cassandra Clare books. I have the entire um, Mortal Instruments series, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. I have Pumpkin Juice. I have, um, then I have the Infernal Devices trilogy, which is Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, and then I have the Shadow Hunter Codex, which is this tiny one right here. And I read that, and it wasn't as good as everything else, but still pretty good. So yep, yeah, losing my books. And the last person that I can say that they're some of my most read authors is Cinda Williams Chima. I've read eight of her books, and I really like most of them. This is the Heirs Chronicles, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It was originally a trilogy, and then they added this one, and there's another book that I'm hoping to get for Christmas. Um, so that's four, and then I've read the Seven Realm series, which Reagan absolutely loves. So freaking good, though. The uh, Demon King, the Grey Wolf Throne, the Exiled Queen, and the Crimson Crown. Uh, uh, so good. So those are my most read authors. Let me know down below in the comments what are some of your most read authors, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!